mơ Facebook xong <cười> Chạy nhớ <cười> Ok, chờ nhé Mình xin xe vào xem Ok We can start now Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Reflection uh, English Discussion Program. We allow young Cambodians to share their success story, experiences, and idea covering various topics from skill to modern education and social development. I think you all might have known that uh, today we are discussing a very important topic uh, is how to develop your critical thinking skill. Without further delay, let me introduce our guest speaker who are joining us today. Uh, first of all is Ms. Ms. Samut Siomeng. Siomeng is joining us from Phnom Penh. Siomeng is, current, is currently a, a project coordinator and a third generation leader of Quality Coffee. Prior to her current role, I think she was a critical thinker, thinking lecturer and communication official at a non-governmental organization. She graduated with a bachelor degree of art and management from Royal University of Phnom Penh. Welcome, Siume. Yes, thank you so much, uh, brother, for the kind introduction and for having me today. Yeah, thank you, Siume. And our second speaker is Chen Po. Chen Po is joining us from Berlin right now. Uh, Chen Po is a Cambodian graduate student pursuing a master's degree in international affair. I think uh, you're news to. Uh, uh, you're just studying, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So you're just studying your degree and uh, at Hertie School in Berlin. So uh, congratulations, Chen Po, on your achievement. And uh, in journalism, uh, Chen Po is a deputy chief of uh, Voice America Phnom Penh Bureau until recently. And he had covered Cambodian politics, Mekong, and Southeast Asian affair for the last eight years. Uh, he was also a lecturer of uh, media literacy at Royal University of Phnom Penh, where he got degree in media management. Welcome, Chen Po, and thank you for joining us. Welcome, Nisai, and uh, thank you for having me. Okay. Actually, uh, you all have known that uh, today we are discussing critical thinking skill, uh, and the topic is timely and critical for our, our people out there, not just them, but myself because I, I am curious how we can actually understand critical thinking and, and what can be done to make sure that we can improve our skill. This will be our future skill and it's important for day-to-day -day life. So I, I hope that I can learn from you just as the other people out there who are joining us on this discussion today. And I, I also hope that you will share important tips which is more experience-based and applicable to our audiences, and they eventually can boost their critical thinking skill. Okay, once again, I think uh, I can actually start by asking you a very simple question. My first question will be to Chen Po. Chen Po, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think based on your experience as lecturer, and also you are you involved in media and communication, especially you're, you're a, a professional journalist. How do you define mm -hmm. critical thinking? Thank, thank you, Nisai. Um, my, my, my first impression about uh, critical thinking is, is that it, it's not, um, that there is no actually a single or a signature definition as, as to what uh, critical thinking is. And it depends on, on, on each individual to, to define. But in, in my own experience, I would say critical thinking as uh, in different context, as you may see, but in, in short, you can say uh, critical thinking is the way you, you think twice uh, mm. before believing mm. or before making a proper judgment, um, regardless if it is your, your, your life uh, decision 
or regardless of your political decision, economic decision, you may need to think twice. Um, mm. You may need to ask questions. But critical thinking can also uh, happen in different contexts as well. Like I said uh, earlier, um, uh, in different context, in the sense that um, you may ask the question and you may make a lot of sorrow consideration uh, when it comes to the context of life. For example, yep. um, if, if somebody just come out of the blue, uh, do not know you, and they ask you for money mm -hmm. uh, to make an investment, and given the limited resource you may have, or in the economy we, we call it the scarcity, uh, you, you may think twice how, mm. how you use money. For example, you have only $1,000 or $2,000 and they ask you for that particular amount. Mm. You may need to think twice. So critical thinking sometimes may not happen by any cultivation. It can mm. happen naturally as well. It depends on the context you are in and the interest mm. you are defending. And in the sense that somebody asks you for $2,000, it's your personal interest you are defending. Then yeah. cultivate your own critical thinking, yeah. and and it also happened in, in business, um, in study, and recently with the rise of social media and news consumption, and 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 that that, that the point I think we may discuss further later in this show. Thank you. Thank you, Chen Paul. I think you you have been giving us a very I think broader perspective on what should be considered as critical thinking skill. Like it involves questioning, analyzing maybe evaluating and making decisions. So making decision is the final things of involving with the critical thinking skill. It, it, it's actually about your experience, you face, you know, you read, you, yeah, it's everything. You hear something. So you, you raise a very important example about things like that. And then let me point the question to Ming. Ming, I think uh, based on change for definition, you might have something to add or you disagree or you agree with him completely. Thank, thank you, Bong. Um, I agree with uh, uh, Bong Cheng Po that we don't really have like a single definition of critical thinking. But I also uh, want to share that uh, critical thinking uh, is like the ability to analyze, to evaluate and also to reasoning. We have like uh, quite a process how we uh, can think critically and in short like the ability to think clearly and also uh, rationally before we make uh, our decision on uh, something and being a critical thinker uh, to some people it means that uh, we make decision uh, right and correct all the time but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that uh, sometimes we also have mistakes sometimes we also left uh, have the loopholes. So being a critical thinker, just trying to minimize harms and also uh, bad consequences uh, mm -hmm. from uh, deciding uh, something that uh, we do in our daily lives. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's great. So my another question, so mains again. So to, to you, why this skill is important personally <laughs> and uh, to yes. a certain extent like for our people, day-to-day -day activity, or so maybe uh, uh, why they should consider it as a very important skill they should develop? Yes, um, I think a CT is, CT is uh, the short term for critical thinking. So sometimes I defer automatically to CT. Mm -hmm. So my, my, uh, my apology for that. Uh, so critical thinking skill is important is because like in our daily life, especially uh, the rise of uh, social media. We have like so much information to consume and we have a lot of decision and things uh, to do. For example, uh, we have like uh, uh, read one news article, but it doesn't mean that that news article is already enough for a topic or for an issue. So we have to read more in order to not be fooled or to not be, uh, uh, like to not be full or also to not make any uh, uh, incorrect uh, mistake. So for mm. an example, uh, there is an example that I always like want to share with uh, my friends. Like a person might ask us that uh, between a freedom of expression and a development, uh, which one do you choose? Um, in this uh, sense, we might think that we only have one option to choose. Either we choose freedom or we choose development. 
But actually, uh, we don't have to choose one. We can uh, choose uh, the box option. Why? Because we are rightfully uh, uh, given opportunity, given the rights to have freedom and also to have development. Mm. So in this regard, it's kind of uh, tricky because uh, the person who gives us the option uh, may seem to like trick us uh, that we have to choose one. But actually, we have uh, both right uh, and mm. we have uh, the right to choose uh, both option. So it's very important because uh, in our society, we have to make uh, sure that uh, our representatives, our friends uh, cannot like uh, treat us like that or cannot fool us by the option they give us. Mm. Thank you, May. So we know the importance of uh, critical thinking skill. So I'm, I, I like it more when you mentioned um, the rise of social media, the rise of uh, contents, I mean, the content creator that we have seen, it's not just news organization, but individuals. I think it's more should be focused. And my question to, to change for, because you are a professional journalist, you've been dealing with it, not just with the media literacy itself, but how the rise of, for example, like fake news or uh, something like that, it's really critical to have more people who have it, uh, a better critical thinking skill. So to use, uh, how do you see uh, the, the current situations when it comes to the consumption of content that we all get during the rise of uh, social media era? Like you have seen a lot of people have ability to access it and they consume it day to day and link it together with the, the critical thinking skill, your view on it and and, and, and also the, the uh, your view on the, the rise of social media and the critical thinking skill situation in Cambodia. How do you see it? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Nistai. Uh, this is a very good question. I think, um, in short, I can, I can give, give an impression that um, the, this information or somebody would dub it as uh, fake news. Uh, I think it's not new. and. Um, Yep. Uh, I don't think uh, social media is the cause of it. I think this information or fake news, you may have heard it um, a lot more before the social media era. The word of mouth, uh, you, yep. you, you tell somebody, you tell your friend, and your friend tell their friend, they become the friend of friend. If your mm -hmm. information you give them uh, is not correct, so I, I, I think... Uh, the impact will be there. The, the only difference is uh, with the social media, I think many scholars have a consensus on this. Uh, it it, it becomes a very powerful tool to, to deliver or to, to, to make the faster and more effective. I mean, effective in the way that whoever makes those this information find it as an effective rule, um, a tool to, um, to spread the information. And I, I think it, 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 it's time to call for action for, for uh, not, not only the government, but also from the individual level mm. um, as to the way we, we, we consume uh, uh, the information. Uh, I often said with, with many friends in Cambodia, like uh, right now, the way we consume uh, the news and the media content is as important or as vital as mm. the way we become picky in eating. Um, you, you, you may not eat anything, right? Yeah. You may need to pick best food for yourself, for your good health, for your prosperity. And it the same apply to um, when it comes to new media consumption. So um, I, I think that there are some action by uh, Cambodian government, got a legal action being taken that, that, that somebody may agree or disagree or with the way they are doing. But also uh, the the uh, the ab absorbing of uh, uh, the media literacy, media information literacy into the, uh, the 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 general education into the curriculum. Yeah. I think uh, this is a very good start that uh, the education ministry is doing. Next step would be to how how we can get enough teacher and enough human resource and enough tool and the way we, we, we teach the student to, 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 to ensure that they, 
they can think critically and they can uh, consume news um, in the sense that um, they do not believe in the first place and they make the verification and they make good use of those information out there, which mm. is more available to them than ever before. Yeah. Thank you, Shane, for, for uh, a view on how uh, you see the current situation in terms of uh, the current level of media. Sorry, is uh, critical thinking skill and the rise of uh, issue on social media. Uh, my next question is to main main uh, i think you you at some point uh, encounter uh, when it comes to trying to improve because no nobody was born with critical yeah. thinking skill with, with a certain yeah. uh, amounts or certain level of of capacity to deal with it or maybe uh, you might have gone through it so i would like to know from your own experiences uh, as a lecturer as well as a, a media uh, student. And how can you develop your critical thinking skill? Okay. Thank you, Bong, uh, for the question. Uh, but before I answer, can I add a little bit uh, to the previous question on the uh, status quo of uh, use and social media and news consumption? Yes, please, please, please do. Okay, just, just a bit and then I will answer uh, the question. Um, as I have like observed uh, from uh, social media, uh, like some uh, user, especially uh, young people, uh, they tend to share uh, contents or information from unreliable or unknown mm. sources. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that is very risky. It is risky. Uh, why? Because uh, we don't know uh, which uh, source of information that was come from, yeah. uh, whether they have checked or not. And mm. some some user uh, just uh, share and even without reading the whole context or the whole uh, news uh, on on that uh, post. So it's also uh, affect other people as well because when you share, it means that your friends and your friends or friends can see your post. And uh, if you keep uh, doing that, I mean, it will be um, a big um, consequences. Uh, for other young people. So mm. in, in this sense, I mean that um, they did not read it uh, carefully and they on, and they don't even check it with other reliable sources. We have uh, many uh, news outlets that produce reliable uh, source and they don't mm. read uh, that article, but instead they share from unreliable uh, sources and also unknown that we don't know uh, that information come from. Mm. So I think it is very important that uh, they they should play a role in sharing reliable news to their friends. And if not, mm. uh, how they decide or make decision uh, in their daily life will also be affected as mm. well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you may. Yes. Sure. And um, regarding uh, your uh, uh, question, uh, your your. Uh, next question, I really like it uh, because uh, I think that we are not born uh, to be a critical thinker, but we also uh, have some improvement to make as well and don't be hopeless um, if uh, we happen to think that we are not uh, a critical thinker yet. Even me, I am still on the journey to be <laughs> a better critical thinker too. So let's learn to be uh, together. So uh, I have like four uh, uh, stage, but I will be short. Uh, the first one is uh, to read more. Um, for example, the, uh, the, the case that I raised earlier is about try to read as much as you can and try to analyze it with other sources. Don't just read like from one source because it is not enough. Uh, try to read more, analyze, and also try to compare it with uh, other people if possible. And the second one is try to discuss and try to challenge what you think with other people because your, your opinion uh, is not always correct. And sometimes you only think uh, one issue, like only keep it in yourself and you think that it is right. But actually, it is not right. You cannot be right all the time. So try to challenge with other people. And sometimes you might feel like, oh, what I have been thinking, for example, for this past 20 years, actually, it is not, <laughs> it is not true. So after you discuss a lot with other people, you might uh, come up with new idea. And uh, the third one is writing. 
uh, that is why um, I have uh, been writing, uh, especially starting from opinion pieces, just a small thing, but it helps a lot. Because when we write, uh, we have to read, we have to do research, and uh, one issue that we know very little about from the first start, uh, we can like know a lot after we write. And when we write, uh, we really concentrate, we try to do more research. So we have like a lot of information about that uh, topic. So more or less, we are more informed uh, than the other who do nothing uh, about that at all. And last but not least, uh, I think reflection is also important. Uh, Sometimes uh, try to take a break from our study, from our work, and try to reflect like what has been happening, even our personal challenges, even what is happening uh, in the world or in our country. Sometimes we can take a break and reflect, and after that, we can have more fresh idea, or, or maybe what we have been thinking so far is not uh, right. So have some time for reflection. And I think uh, that is all from me, Bong. So the first step, read, discuss, write, and reflect. Mm, interesting. I think it is really good. Like you need to do like force them together to improve your uh, ability to think critically. And also, I think it seemed like it's not static. Like you keep doing it. It all evolves all the time. Like yes. there's no certain level of how good you are at critical thinking mm -hmm. and yeah. yes it's keep evolving and at, at the same time I, I like the point that uh, we always see things from who we are mostly we cannot see it in a full picture like uh, we, it's it's actually single perspective that's why we need to consult with different sources learn from the other be open-minded so open-minded here is the key like I think <laughs> King Paul, uh, you might tell us more about your your own habit of developing this critical thinking skill but at the same time can I say the more you become open-minded, the more you become a good critical thinking thinker? Sorry, it is it it is connected, or maybe you can it's the other way around. In in my own experience, it is indeed a critical part of being critical thinking. Okay. Uh, when it comes to being open-minded, I, I think um it it have defer critical thinking with another term. Uh, both of you may have known, our audience may have known, the term is conspiracy theory. Uh, somebody with conspiracy theory uh, tend to suggest that they are critical thinkers, tend to suggest they, 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 they know a lot more, they ask more questions, some valid questions. But asking questions, which is also a critical part of the critical thinking, um, does not mean you, 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 you engage in a critical thinking. Um, because uh, con conspiracy theory, uh, for example, you, you believe in, in some big idea uh, without evidence, without proof, uh, with close-minded and um, it, it, it lead to dangerous consequence. And uh, conspiracy theory uh, is often guided by hate, extremism, and group thinking uh, mm -hmm. without uh, give, giving yourself a chance to listen to or get new inputs. Um, but good cause thinking is guided by uh, a free mind, eager to address their own curiosity, mm. um, eager mm. to, 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 to increase their capacity, their knowledge, um, or in academic field, eager to expand what had been discovered by the, by the previous uh, scholars. So good cause thinking is, is, is important in that, in that sense. In my own experience, I think uh, it needs to be thanks to journalism trainings. Um, I, I wasn't that much a grid causing curse. Uh, <laughs> now I'm, I'm not really a grid causing curse. Uh, uh, both of you have this guy. It, 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 it's a work in progress that will never finish. Um, so when it comes to journalism training, uh, from my own experience, what, what triggered me is uh, you, you need to submit your story to your editors. When you interview someone, you write any story, and the editor will give the feedback, give it a lot of red pens, a lot of red points, more <laughs> questions. You feel frustrated, right? Yeah. Um, next time you do, you do the, the reporting, uh, do the writing, you, you, you need to think a lot more questions because to, to, to ensure that this is not happening again. So, um, 
journalist and training give give me I think uh, a good nose for bad smell. Um, good nose for bad smell. Yeah, yeah. Because in journalism, we, we we tend to say we do some good, too good story. It's not journalism. It, it's something mm -hmm. else called public relation of communication. But uh, in journalism, you you have a good nose for bad smell. Uh, looking for anything wrong. Um. To, to report on and that 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 from my own experience of, of, of writing and to expand uh, to address our own curiosity like I said and the capability to ask questions so, so just in pausing when 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 you read anything when you um before you make any decision try to ask more questions just write down question and try to answer the question ensure that uh, it, it cover the context of, of what you are thinking of and making decision of thank you. Thank you, Chen Bo. I think uh, you 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 give more uh, idea on how to improve critical thinking skill. Like question, question, and question. Like every time you become skeptical, you become uh, uh, questioning things that you see. Maybe finding something that need to be fixed, or maybe problem that need to be fixed. So I think it, it's a good thing to 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 learn because every time you see things, do not always see the well, we can we need to see both sides, like positive and negative side, but not about pessimistic. Here, don't get wrong. I mean, don't get it wrong. Like we everything we we talk about with this question, trying to find out whether we got it fully of, of, of thing we have seen. So question is it's not negative thing because some people might not I think a fan of questioning, like they say, oh, there's negative things about critical thinking when you keep questioning. Question is, is, is to some people, I think to a certain extent is a negative part of there yeah, because people are not open-minded enough to accept mm -hmm. questioning and criticism. So I think that mm -hmm. they need to be changed because questioning is not all about bad thing. It's not about a, a negative part. So let's see a, a positive side of questioning. Well, I think we, we actually know there's a lot of habit two of our speaker have deploys to improve their critical thinking skills each day. And they've been doing it because right now they say that they're not confident yet whether they, they, they reach a certain level of being a critical thinker. So can you just tell us a little bit, May, uh, what can be a contributing factor to being a poor critical thinker? Maybe we can link to the previous question. Yes. Um... Yeah, actually, it relates to, to the previous question. Like we have ways to improve, but also we also have uh, some challenges and difficulties. Um, I think uh, the first one is uh, we call it uh, egocentrism, mm -hmm. uh, being uh, egocentric. Uh, this term means that like um, we don't accept other people's uh, opinion, and we try to be like. Uh, like a person who always think that our opinion is always right and the others are always wrong. And this is a challenge. Why? Because uh, when we close the door for other people to uh, share the opinion and we close the door for our uh, thoughts to go out and explore with other people. Uh, so uh, our ideas and thought are the warfare, which means that it will not improve because what we think is always in that place mm -hmm. and if that is the correct uh idea it is okay but what if it is not like what if it is risky for yourself and if you don't challenge it with other people it's also like uh, a harmful uh condition uh for us mm -hmm. and it also uh related to the uh another difficulty uh which is uh sociocentrism it's quite similar to the previous one, but this thing, I think, sometimes it is even more harmful. Uh, why? Because uh, socio-centrism means that a group of people, uh, we are in the so-called, that uh, our team always think the same, have the same opinion, have the same thought, and we think that uh, we are always right. Mm -hmm. So for an example, I am in a group of people who think that one issue is... Uh, for example, one one issue is, uh, uh, I mean, is harmful, or we think that one thing is correct. So we believe that, uh, we are right because our friends or people among our circle, uh, they think the same. So it's like, 
uh, our argument or our thought is already confirmed because our circle thing like that. But it's all not always like that. Uh, other people, other group who have the same, who have a uh, different background, who have different thought, they think uh, differently. Mm -hmm. So this is, it seems like uh, our group like own the world, uh, run the world, but actually we are not. So this mm -hmm. is like more harmful than uh, egocentrism. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes, yeah, that, that's all from me, Wong. <laughs> okay. Thank you, May. I think I, I learned a lot of things from this part, like why, for example, like ego, maybe one have it, like, I believe, but the more or the less, I think it depends. Yes, because we'll yes. Discuss, we'll discuss <laughs> it more, but uh, I think ego and then ability to accept criticism, like, or ability to be questioned, like, in addition to change for common moments ago, being a journalist, I think, teach them a lot. Myself, as a journalist as well, I become a little bit more sick skin. like, um, <laughs> I think it, it's, it's not bad, like, being a sick skin, like, because you can accept it because whenever you rise, doesn't mean everyone accept your opinion or they might have something mm -hmm. to say about whatever we do. So I think learn to accept criticism, trying to be, be, become more resilient to question to whatever they say about us is also good. It, it reduces our, our ego as well. Ego as well. So, well, thanks, thank me. So this, the next question will be to change for. I think we discussed already uh, how we can improve the habit or the, the, the tip that you would share with us. It seems like, well, we, we already say you're not born with critical thinking skill. Even you graduate from university does not literally mean you become a critical thinker. At this, po at this point, uh, should we say, uh, we need to think about how we can embrace it from a very lower level, like young, as, as much mm. we could do what we could, sorry, do as much we could to improve uh, how we can infuse the idea of critical thinking, thinking skill at a, a lower level at school, for example, like high school or maybe elementary school or something like that. Do you agree that this would be the thing that we should do? Yeah, uh, thank you, Tony I like your point about um, uh, not nobody become critical, critical thinker even after graduating from from a colleague, uh, but critical thinking in, in, in different contexts. I mean, um, you may be critical uh, thinker when it comes to reading text, mm -hmm. when it comes to reading textbook in your discipline, but you may not be a critical thinker after graduating when it comes to financial decision. You may not be a better critical thinker than your parents right. who had no college degree, but have 20, 30 years experience in the market. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then they, they have more experience. So experience may, may work as well. But what, what I see as the key factor affecting the critical thinking, I think I, I look at the, the, the simple step, um, for example, how, how one individual is raised mm. in their uh, family tradition, family context. Mm. Uh, what was the parenting? Is it strict parenting? Will the parent allow to ask questions? This is one mm. thing. Next thing is schooling and education that we have discussed. Um, mm. uh, how the, the school curriculum is, is uh, the methodology of teaching is, is being formulated and executed uh, when, when you go to school. I, I, I cannot give the, uh, I cannot overgeneralize the situation in Cambodia. Mm. Um, but my, my view is if um the old old way of teachings um for example um giving a, a class as a teacher center mm. uh, the student as the follower of uh, I, I may agree with our social thinker uh, in cambodia that even even the the way you arrange settings even the way you arrange the, the, the classroom also affect the, the capability of of the growing children and how they develop their own critical thinking Next thing is going beyond school, whether the social political context mm -hmm. allow people to, to think more freely. Uh, mm -hmm. And that, that's really important as well. If, if you, you have a lot of repression, you have a lot of laws um, restricting people's thinking and expression. I think it, um, the limit of great causing things and the way we ask questions will be there as well. And the next factor is going beyond this context 
what what about you what about personal factor uh, are you eager to learn mm. given this this uh, unfavorable condition being given to you from home to school from school to society um, whether within this context you 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 have the the eagerness to 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 want to learn more Mm. And that 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 the different layer that we can ask um, mm. on on when what what it can to be uh, the issue affecting uh, the great causing things for for one individual. Mm. Thank you, Shane Paul. You bring a, a broader perspective on the issue, like enabling enabling environment. Sorry, enabling environments in one society is the key factor. Not just individual, not just family, school, society. Uh, it involves a lot of things cultural norm, political system, or whatever. So it, 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 it actually contributes to this kind of issue. We might come to this like uh, in, the, in the next question. Uh, we might talk about how we can build a, a, a favorable environment for critical thinking skill and how we can allow people to be more engaging willing to learn, like you said, eagerness people might have or might have not, it depends. Like, but we are trying to give some sort of idea like how we can build a better critical thinking community uh, amongst our people. So I, I think I will need question. But, but before I go to this question, uh, I would need to ask May. Uh, I think we talk about ego, we talk about human um, the connective bias. We might talk about it a little bit. I think I will need your perspective on it. As human being, we cannot be 100% unbiased at this point. So they involve biasing like, as a person. In making the season, I think it also influences how we see things and also our ability to think critically. So taking this issue in, in particular, like the natural thing about ourselves, a general uh, assumption of thing, it's also prevent us from thinking critically. So how can we reuse our bias? Uh, taking into account your own experience. Um, thank you, Bong, and thank you for adding that my own experience. <laughs> yeah, um, because uh, I, I I used to be like a really lazy thinker. I don't want to think about anything at all. But uh, then uh, I had like some kind of like bad consequences comparing to these days that I practice uh, this kind of a uh, set of skill, not not yet a successful critical thinker, but I'm trying like uh, my best to like to think uh, more critically. So I think uh, to be an unbiased, uh, first of all, uh, we have to have a lot of uh, information as much as uh, we can. Uh, I like the idea that Bong Ching Po mentioned about the uh, uh, social and political uh, factors and how they affect um, our critical thinking skill uh, that that is very important so uh, uh, in order to not like um, uh, to not be biased uh, first of all we have to obtain uh, information and right now uh, in our uh, society we should have like uh, information from all the corners uh, by this I mean that uh, some piece of information we really cannot find it uh, I don't know, like, for example, uh, information about uh, something, and I don't know how to access it. And without uh, all sorts of information to analyze, to evaluate, to rationalize, uh, this is also a challenge uh, to be uh, unbiased. So we have to make sure that we obtain every piece of information. And also we try to like understand uh, other people as well. And it also comes back to uh, being open-minded again, like try to uh, talk to uh, many more people, try to be more open. And I think that that's very important, open-mindedness and quality of information as well. Thank you, May. So to reuse our bias, I think we need to, I mean, like you mentioned earlier, there's a lot of stuff like gather information, try to understand things from different perspectives and so on. Well, I think uh, right now, let me go to the question, enabling environments, how we can build a very favorable environment for young 
it's not just young people, but people who from different, from every fabric of the society, because the more you have, the more uh, critical thinker you have in one society, I think we're going to have to see a more prosperity, a better criti uh, critical thinking in terms of politics, social development, involvement, and economic development and everything. Like I mentioned earlier, so I, I, I think right now, uh, it's come to the point, how can we develop a critical thinking, a better environment for critical thinker? Chen Po, please provide some recommendation. Yeah, I, I, I speak to my earlier point uh, when how, how, how to build more grid causing case. It, it start with a lot of layers, uh, I think. Uh, and uh, especially uh, the, uh, the from the family, from school, from the society, they need to be more open-minded. They need to uh, be critical, critically thinking about the way they are approaching in uh, raising kids, educating kids, managing citizen um, and, and, and that's the key important because uh, without good environment, one can still be an, an, a critical thing. Uh, if they, what I said, if they are eager to, to be ones and can defy and overcome the obstacle along the way. Um, but on individual level, I think, uh, I, I, I just want to add briefly on what uh, Siu Meng have mentioned earlier, which I like. Um, it, it's about uh, being open-minded. Like I said, give, give, give yourself a chance to learn. Um, no, nobody is perfect. You, you need to get this constant. Anybody can get wrong. What, what I'm thinking may be wrong. What I'm saying right now may be wrong. Uh, our audience may need to critically think what I'm saying. They 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 are not not uh, not not really like believing me in the first place. Mm -hmm. You need you need these things. Uh, whether when when I say uh, the enabling factor like parenting, schooling, so society, uh, political uh, so, so, so sorry, political leadership may affect your own causing you. You may need to critically uh, things about what I say as well. So so that 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 that, that the progress that bring progress. That, to bring the learning, I think uh, it's really important that, that we, we, should, we should ask more questions like this and, um, and, and uh, give, give yourself a chance. Like Main said, do not close the door. Keep the door open, let the fresh air in. So you, you, you may experience because the fresh air outside may be better than um, the, the air or environment in your own room. Mm. which sometimes becomes smelly. That's good. Thank, thank Chen Po. I think you, you, these this are really important, like from individual level to uh, political and social uh, frameworks. There's a lot of things that need to be done. But Main, do you agree with Chen Po that we need to focus on these different fronts, like we are, we're fighting, not fighting, but we are focusing <laughs> on and trying to uh, 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 address all these kind of things at once. So do you think that which part of this we should focus most right now, taking into account the current situation? Like we might, we might have seen the change in norm, like how uh, uh, parents or how uh, older or senior people can be challenged by younger generation, I see there are some positive thing in, in, in mm -hmm. maybe family yeah. affair or working environment. So we see the change. So at least we see a, some, some sort of change that we need to embrace, we need to push more. But to you, what do you think? Which part of this we should focus more right now? Uh, should should focus more. <laughs> yeah, yes. Like I mentioned, yeah. there's, there's, there mm -hmm. are many different levels, like individual level. I think it depends whether or not it depends on, yeah. on us more and then social, political, and yeah, which, more, yes. which one that we should do more right now. Yes, um, thank you Bong for, uh, for the question. And I think uh, it is uh, very important that uh, we come up with the solution, uh, like how together we can enable a more critical thinking uh, environment. So, uh, I think uh, the first is also like uh, Bong Ching Po mentioned, uh, family and society. Um, our family should be more open and especially 
uh, come up with debates with their kids, even they are still young. Mm -hmm. uh, it, this is also about like providing space for them to uh, ask questions uh, about anything and don't get bored with your kids because uh, mm -hmm. they might ask a lot of questions, but it's also a good way for them uh, to start uh, thinking critically about uh, what is happening around them. Like mm -hmm. if we don't let kids ask questions and then they want ask when they uh, grow older. So it is a problem and also a barrier uh, to be a critical thinker. But it is also the roles of uh, educational and government institution. So for an example, I believe that uh, journalists uh, plays a very crucial role in our society because uh, they report like stories with a lot of like information about one topic. So having access to information, all sorts of information, no secret uh, transparency uh, from mm -hmm. the government and from, uh, from other uh, institution also give uh, opportunity for everyone to be a critical thinker because without information, how can we think? Uh, mm. And if we cannot think, how can we think? How can we uh, become a critical thinker? So information really plays an important role uh, in helping us to keep, to think more critically. So uh, I believe that uh, the institution like our government, uh, like uh, school, uh, they should like uh, uh, have this kind of uh, policy, for example, uh, not only uh, curriculum, but some kind of introduction to uh, teenagers or adults, what is critical thinking and how to be a critical thinker. I'm not sure if we have uh, that course yet in high school, but if not, uh, we should have. And because of the rise of social media right now, fake news, disinformation, misinformation, it is even more urgent to have uh, that kind of course. But uh, last but not least, I still want every piece of information <laughs> and it's also my personal challenge not to have enough information to analyze to rationalize <laughs> so i cannot mm. like uh improve my skill more thank you May. thank you so how you get information involve like freedom to information the diverse information you will get something yes. like that it's really a critical thing that we need to focus on. Chinpo, I think uh, right now we almost run out of time, but I think one important question that I would ask you is how can we actually embrace this idea of critical thinking skill to a larger population, like get to people in different, uh, the, I mean, different provinces, maybe in the rural area and so on. Like you are trying to embrace, you're trying to promote media literacy. Like it become a very common talk like amongst ourselves, like media literacy, people have to have a certain level of this and this, just like critical thinking. But we haven't never talked about it. Critical thinker, you're critical thinker, you're good at it and something. So we need to come on. I think what I should say, like a formalize the discussions of, critical thinking skill amongst the public to the people who have never heard it before. So how can we do it? By the, bringing the idea to the people. I, I, I think um, uh, to, to, to me, I may have a different uh, perception or opinion from many other. Yeah. Uh, I think the one play important role uh, in, in, in cultivating uh, critical thinking in our, our society is uh, uh, the leader of the family. Mm. and the leader of the society. Um, to, to me, they, they play an important role. I, I, I just want them to, 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 to make these thinkings. Um, try to think of your, your own children, try to think of your own citizen. And the benefit, um, the long-term benefits, um, they will get um, uh, as a great cause thinker from the young age. And, and, and that's important. Because good cause thinking uh, among the children and among the population, uh, if you talk about political context, uh, it's actually beneficial to the family. It's actually beneficial to the society. Imagine if the whole, uh, the, the large part of the population is a critical thinker. 
just look at the recent example at Phnom Penh. Uh, there are some decision being made, carve out some forest, and then our 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 people speak out again, again, and cite decision. Uh, they, they they don't think it's right. They critically mm. think it's some something is going wrong. Yeah, they say it out, and there's there's some impact. So there are power in in that thinking that. Uh, was transformed into action in into the betterment of their society of their environment. I, I just want the the family and the, the national leader to, to think about this. They, they can make good decision about uh, their own economics um, arrangement. So if in in economic they say if household is 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 is, is well off. So it's good for society. They will spend more. They will save more. They will invest more. So the economy will be good. Try to think in 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 this context as well. If individual is mm. is is a good thinker, they have a lot of idea. They had a lot of participation. You 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 have more helping hand uh, mm. to help you, uh, formulating policy, um, giving input in any hard decision. Here in Germany, I, I can give example. They they never have the national security strategy. Mm. They are trying to, to build one, and they invite the citizen to provide the input. In a lot of seminar, they are formulating, and and this is the important. If if, if you believe in your own citizen as a critical thinker, their input will be important, and you you, you may need to, to to do less work, uh, because uh, you you have more participation from your your own uh, uh, citizen. Same to the family, the children will, will, will be stronger. Believe me, don't don't believe me. Actually, <laughs> thinking of my my idea critically, but try give them some chance of asking question, thinking critically, answer their sometimes naive question because naive question bring progress, bring innovation. They will be they they will, they will become stronger when they grow old. So I think. Um, this this must be a top down approach, and if if you if 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 you work growing up in a society or in a family that is not uh favorable to to the critical thinking, you need to build on your own. But um, if the family and national leader are more open mind on this, I think um it it, it will give a a long term benefit to 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 our uh, household to our society as well. Thank, thank you, Paul. I think that's that's good point. That parents, that family, play a, a role, and also, yeah, we already discussed the role of the state, the role of the government, what they should do to promote the environment. Yes, like let kids learn to value information. Sorry, evaluate information and then question. Like maybe I mentioned earlier, don't get bored, but your kid asking a lot of questions that you have them learn to determine. As well to evaluate them as my stake at me. And do you have anything to add to this? Like maybe bringing into attention of critical thinking skill, uh, getting it to people like training or maybe other other actor like civil society, uh, international organization donor. Maybe can actually work on this, providing people with some sort of basic skill of critical thinking. Maybe it's not too hard. It's complex, but at the same time, it is possible to let them know that is some sort of basic knowledge is important. Yes. Um. Thank you, Bong. Uh, I I think we we can uh relate with the programs that we are currently having in our country. Uh, media. Uh, digital. Uh, media information and digital literacy uh, this is a good start already mm -hmm. uh, that we are uh, trying to inform uh, young people about the consequences of uh, using social media and not uh, really being critically about it and especially when it comes to fake news that we have to deal with i think this is a, a good start already but i hope that uh, what we can do next is uh, to expand the activities to uh, other provinces, especially in the rural areas. And as we know that uh, recently we have like uh, some news of scamming 
uh, in the province, especially in rural areas. That is because uh, we uh, underestimate uh, that uh, critical thinking is not that important for young people. Why? Because young people in the province, uh, especially secondary and primary school, they live with their parents. And if we expand the activities uh, to them, uh, more or less, they live with their families and they can influence to their family's decision. So for example, the case of scamming, uh, if you invest 1,000, uh, dollars next month you will get two thousand dollar uh mm. who would believe that but some people they would because uh they do not have enough information why they uh, will receive that much interest from uh the investor so uh this kind of skill uh, if possible we should expand to young people and especially to also uh the adult because it also affects them as well. And uh, having BD and information literacy, I think it's already a good start, but still we have uh, to do more uh, to the province. Mm. Thank you, May. I think this, this, uh, we're running out of time. So uh, <laughs> I might want to hear from Chengpo and also May, because we have been spending time discussing a lot way to, to improve our critical thinking skill, who's the actor, who are the, the, the main actor to help in creating an enabling environment for critical thinker, and then the challenges we face from social, political, to individual, to family, to social norm and culture. And yes, we, we, we seem to touch upon almost every aspect of this critical thinking skill, but we might want to hear from you some people might still see this is very complex, abstract, and at the same time, it might be difficult for them to keep everything we say in mind. But, but, but what would be your last message to them? Uh, be they younger or senior level, maybe they have different experience. So what is your message to them to keep up developing the skill? Change for first. Yeah, in, in short, um... Uh, my short message is don't give up thinking, don't give up questioning, asking questions. And, and, and that, that I, I, I think if, if you have question, if you have, you give it a lot of thinking, uh, I think progress will be there. And uh, to, to add on the, the point you mentioned earlier, it, it depends a lot on family and national leader, but if they do not work for you, to, to provide a good environment for you to think critically, you need to work a lot harder on yourself. Mm -hmm. um, may double work, but that's okay. That's um, it, it, for your own good sakes. So mm -hmm. um, in, in short, don't give up thinking, don't give up questioning. Don't give up thinking and questioning. Keep questioning, be skeptical as much as you could. That message from change for. Hope that our audience will take this and then keep reminding themselves about change for message. To me, you might have your own message to them. Yes, Bong, uh, and I really like what uh, Bong Cheng Po has said, don't stop thinking. <laughs> but sometimes when it is too tiring for me, I just want to <laughs> stop thinking and <laughs> taking a break. <laughs> yeah. So um, my, my message is that um, I know that it is like sometimes tired to keep up with what is happening uh, in our country and also around the world. We have so much information to consume, to progress, to analyze and to evaluate, but uh, please don't give up um, and please don't be tired about that. I know that we, uh, we like, uh, sometimes it, it makes us upset. Uh, even myself, sometimes I read like a lot of uh, news and it is not really easy. Like we consume so much issues that happening. Uh, we read a lot about issue. So sometimes we also feel tired and feel that why are we doing this? But it is a good way to like uh, be a better uh, thinker 
because when we read a lot, we know a lot as well. And please also try to discuss and challenge your ideas with your friends. I know it's really hard for the first timer uh, being uh, challenged and being questioned all the time is not an easy feeling, but it's also a good way to start as well if you don't want to just live in your room and try mm. to be uh, more open as much as you can. And I think uh, uh, with this kind of patience and this kind of uh, progress, uh, more or less, you are going to like uh, think critically, not necessarily to become a critical thinker, but at least we can think critically. Thank you for Ryan. Uh, you want to add something? Yeah, one last point. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't believe whatever we say here sings and verify. <laughs> yes. <for your> <laughs> yeah. That Thank, is true. That is yeah, true. Thank yeah. you for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sheikh Bo. I think, yes, you're, you're right. Our audience, if you are if you are out there watching us, keep questioning about our speaker <laughs> as Manzans or the race. That's in the guarantee is true. So you That's are right. on your own right now to explore and question our credibility of information we give you. But yes, with from experience, so it can be applicable or not applicable. So you can take this in mind. It's like main has mentioned, uh, it is important for all of you to cultivate what we call uh, open discussion among ourselves. I really like the idea, like even your, your friend, your anyone you know, if you are able to engage with discussion or debate, you should do it because we don't have this kind of day-to-day -day activity. It becomes taboo at some point. You should not raise this. You should not discuss this when you are mm. together because it might break your relationship or maybe, maybe friendship or something. So there's no point that we need to keep this as a barrier. We need to change our perspective. perspective. And then I want to add one point. You cannot actually read everything and then try to absorb every information you get to be critical. Maybe you can build it on your interest, like the, uh, what you're most mm. interested in. So you can actually go into it, absorb more, absorb more information, consume more information about it. So you know more about it in this area. And then you can learn from the other without having to spend all energy on various topics at once. So it might uh, actually drain your energy. So you can learn from people, discussion, like I mentioned earlier, like Ben mentioned, building a, a community of people who can discuss and share. And then you can focus on your own area of interest. It's much easier. Like our three people, three people here, like we have different interests, right? So mm -hmm. I think I believe that we at least try to build this kind of interest by our own ways of doing things. And then we can be critical in this part of this issue. Yep. Well, I think this is the end of our discussion. I really enjoy it. And I learned a lot from all of you. And I hope that our audience also learn a lot too from this discussion. And I, I would like to thank our guest speaker for their time, because I think uh, right now it's, it's, it, it, it's almost, yeah, it, it already is 6 p.m. in Phnom Penh. And Berlin, I'm not sure about <laughs> the time. Lunch time. Oh, lunch time. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay. Boss is, is spending his, his lunch time right now joining us. So I think thank you so much, both of you, for, for contributing to this discussion to be very important intake for most people. And I, I think it contributes to further discussion. I think that mm -hmm. one discussion might not change a lot of things, but at least it right. is a start that we should do more, like further discussion, further debate, and how we can find a way, a com I mean, the, the common ways of improving critical thinking in our society among young people. I think young people out there might have more creative idea to do. So that just, mm. we just uh, try to ignite mm. and illuminate all these areas that appear to be, I, I'm not saying that, but abstract. So yeah, you get the idea right now, go out, find a way, how we can help one another to improve the critical thinking skill. Okay, thank you again, both of you. I hope that we will have different discussion uh, in coming session that will have both of you taking part, be they media, journalism, or uh, public relations maybe in the next uh, discussion. So thank you so much. And also our audience too. See you next time. Thank you so much.
Yeah. Thank you too, Bong, for having me. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.